Camry LE is the base trim. What we're gonna do in this review is give a comparison between the SE, the XSE, to show you some of the features that you will lack if you option this, and if it's right for you here at Stadium Toyota. This is the 2023 model in the Celestial Silver Metallic. 17 inch standard alloy wheels, multi-spoke. That's also going to be the same case for the SE. The XSE makes it a gloss black 19 inch wheel. The front is both going to have LED headlamps and daytime runnings, except for the air curtain will look a little bit more aggressive on the XSE with the gloss black. And you can get a two-tone look when you get into the XSE. The LE all the way up to the XSE will have 5.6 inches of clearance. Option the TRD, it lowers by 0.6 inches and you'll get a sport tuned suspension for the XSE and on the TRD, tuned TRD suspension with a stiffer suspension. 2.5 liter four cylinder with 203 horsepower, 284 pound feet of torque paired to an eight speed automatic transmission. And it's gonna sip gas at 28 MPGs for the city. 39 MPGs for the highway. To put that in content, the new hybrid Honda Accord gets five MPGs more on the highway than this. And you're gonna pay a significant increase in price because this is still in the low $20,000 range, 192.7 inches long. The side skirt is not going to be as aggressive as the XSE. The SE is gonna be similar. You're gonna get the chrome that's gonna go around all the window treatment. Whereas on the XSE, you can option the two-tone with the white chill pearl and the gloss black with the side view mirror caps that's gloss black as well. The rear will get the spoiler lip that's gloss black. On the LE, you will not. The TRD adds a cat back and a quad exhaust tip, chrome tips for the XSE, but you're not getting that same exhaust note. But you're gonna have LED tail lamps for all of them. To open the tailgate, you either use the key or the quick release to hold. Going into 15.1 cubic feet of storage, you have the hooks on the side for bags, underneath with the jack and the spare tire split fold the rear bench in the back at a 40-60 split and that will increase the cargo to the Camry. It's a deep and wide opening, 2.5 four cylinder. Let's go inside, start it up so you can hear that exhaust now. Entering inside the Toyota Camry LE, 5.6 inches of ground clearance, headroom at 38.3 inches, legroom at 42.1 inches. Standard 10-way power seat adjustment for the driver, cloth, fabric, soft tech, goes into the SE. Six-way manual adjustment for the passenger. The LE gets the key fob, but you have to use the key to start the vehicle with a seven inch touchscreen audio sound system, AM, FM, streaming Bluetooth audio. Sirius XM, AM, FM, streaming Bluetooth audio, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Put it into reverse, reverse camera, the lines do not move. Gloss black with the sparkles goes into the two tier for the dash setup. Dual climate control settings is standard, 4.2 TFT display for the driver. When you get into the SE, it becomes an optional seven inch. The XSE is a standard seven inch. Three spoke steering wheel, multi-function, no paddle shifters, the stocks, 12 volt and a USB a storage area or optional QI charger for the SE and XSE open up and it's a storage compartment underneath. Sport mode, normal. Everyday materials open up to a couple more USB ports and storage capacity. The door panel integrates into the dash. Everyday materials are going to be found pretty much everywhere because this is the base trim, one touch up and down for the nose, and a medium-sized storage pocket with a cup or beverage holder in the front. 
For the back seats, I'm at 38 inches of headroom. 38 inches of legroom. Fold this down and you get cup holders and a storage tier. No air vents, you have to option the XSE, one storage behind the passenger seat. The XSE will have it behind both of the seats. Everyday materials come into the back door panel with a smaller storage pocket that can fit a beverage or two. Sitting into the center, headroom is no issue because there's no moonroof or pano. Leg space and feet space is also good, sharing butt and shoulder space, but it's still a pretty wide vehicle, so three adults my dimensions at six foot three can fit without any issues. 2.5 liter, four cylinder, with 203 horsepower, 184 pound-feet of torque, eight-speed automatic transmission, but you get a lot of gas consumption in the sense of being eco-friendly. I mean, you're only five MPGs different from the all new Honda Accord hybrid for the highway, 39 MPGs. That is amazing. Now, obviously the zero to 60 is gonna be slower in this particular vehicle, but you're not expecting to go super fast because this is in the lower $20,000 range. And the fact that you can get this, this inexpensive, and you're getting that close to the gas consumptions as a hybrid really makes this a pretty great bargain when you consider brakes because someone just pulled out in front of us and to give her a go now that's going to take me to some things i like and dislike the first thing that i like is you get great mpgs it's a bargain deal vehicle the second thing that i like is you still get technology apple carplay android auto and sirius xm in some cases you will not get that in base trim vehicles the last thing that i like you have optimal cargo capacity you got hooks on the side for baggage they're taking care of the family. Three things that I dislike about the vehicle. Is it underpowered? Not really. It's a little bit over 3,300 pounds of curb weight. However, for this type of vehicle, I would expect the suspension to be a little bit more smooth considering we got 17 inch wheels. The second thing that I dislike about the vehicle is you lose all of the soft amenities. There's nowhere soft to touch in the LE. You pretty much have to go to the SE or the XSC or even go into the TRD. The last thing that I dislike is the seven inch touch screen. Nine inch is for the XSE and just the way it looks, it's just too much gloss black around it. Maybe just put a smaller screen and some buttons underneath it and it'll still be above the air vents. I'd like to thank Stadium Toyota for giving us this 2023 Toyota Camry LE for our car review or this quick car review. If you're already a subscriber, thank you for being part of the Hawkeye community. If not, click the next video on the subscribe button, check out the merchandise website, Instagram, leave a comment and a like.